Hello everyone, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and we're going to continue reading A Hair of Ryan's Love Story, Chapter 2, which will repeat from the last scene in Chapter 1. I froze the feeling something breathing down my neck. Slowly, curiosity and fearfully, I turned around, turned my head to meet with whatever eyes. I screamed, blank, white eyes. Rosalind's point of view. I fell out of my chair and continued to scream. One of Hair Brian's growls, glowing red eyes, twitched. Immediately, I shot up. Trembling, trembling in fear, my eyes scanned over the tall man. He was about seven feet tall, wearing worn, a worn, torn t-shirt and some jeans with frilly ends at the torn or whatever at the end. He also wore gray work boots that had small dark stains all over them. Turning my head up, I looked up to his face, which immediately leaped down at me. Creepy. Herobrine had suddenly turned, tossed brown hair in his tan skin, his stable on his jaw, sharp teeth that poked out of his lips, and of course, those blank white eyes. I felt I shouldn't look at into them. My Minecraft screen, Rosaline, get up. Herobrine said. I flinched at his, from his voice. It was deep and s slightly, but girth, totally not sexy. Stumbling, I got up and jumped to my feet. Str stumbling a bit. I probably look like a fool. He chuckled. I huffed. My name is Rosaline, I thought. All right, Rosaline, he chuckled. I froze. Did I really say that out loud? Oh, smooth moon, Rosaline. No, you did not say that out loud, he said with a smirk. I swear it, I was just saying that out loud again. No, you're just thinking to yourself, and I can read your mind, he smirked. My jaw dropped. Whoa, no privacy whatsoever, I blushed. I didn't mean that, he... Yes, I heard the comment about my deep, sexy voice, he said... Scat smirking even more. I let up how well thanks for for interrupting my privacy. I muttered, asshole, I thought. I hey, I heard that. Said the Minecraft character. Good. I replaced gulking a bit. I thought for a bit and then he perked up again. Hey, what are you here? I questioned. He looked I looked up to his face, meeting his eyes. Herobrine paused for a moment and sighed. I'm not usually for me to stray, stray, a uh, stray test. All right, then, he muttered, turning to meet my brown eyes. Disney's overwhelmed me. My vis vision blacked out. The last thing I remember, I was falling into the tan man's long, large hands. Hmm. He snapped his nails. I merely slit myself before slid, slapped myself before sliding into conscious unconsciousness.